In this small video, I'm going to show you that how you can change the display or the, the, the display of the properties of your enumerated type. So let's go ahead and start with an example. If we have some sort of a, a enum, and let me go ahead and say temperature settings or temperature measurements, whatever you want to say, all right? And or just temperature is also fine. If you have temperature measurement, there we go. That's another good name, temperature measurement. And we can measure the temperature in two different ways. We can have a Fahrenheit, which we use in US, and we have Celsius, which is used elsewhere, all right? And we have some sort of a values associated with this. So uh, temperature for Fahrenheit is imperial, and I believe the Celsius is metric system, all right? Since I'm assigning this, I need to also put string over here, okay? So this is a value for imperial, this is a value for matrix, and maybe I need to send this value to some web service, so I do need to say imperial and I do need to say uh, matrix. All right? But on the uh, user interface side, I, I can't really display the user imperial and matrix because it might not make sense. People are more familiar with Fahrenheit and Celsius. So if I go ahead and even if I make this iterable, so basically case iterable, meaning I can iterate through all of these cases. So if I go ahead and for uh, and go ahead from all these cases, so for each, and if I try to print out, let's say print dollar sign zero dot uh, raw value, and if I go ahead and print it out, you're gonna see that the raw value printed out is imperial and matrix, metric. Now, I don't really want this to be printed out. This is some value that I want to display on the screen, and I don't really want to display imperial and metric. We, I want to display Fahrenheit and Celsius. So how can we do that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an extension on temperature measurements, all right? And now I can go ahead and start creating a property. So you can name your property anything you want. I'm just gonna call it display name property. Display name will be a string property and it will have a getter and then we can actually, so it's kind of like a, only a read-only property which is going to display or return you the name. Now that, that particular name or the display name will be based on the switch condition. So if it is Fahrenheit, we are going to return whatever we can return. So I'm just gonna return Fahrenheit. So this is your opportunity to customize the string that you're returning. And you can return anything over here as you want. And then the, for the second one is Celsius. And then we are going to return simply the Celsius. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, run this. It should be okay. Now, uh, instead of using the raw value, we are going to use display name property, the one that we just created. And we you should see that now we will be able to uh, display this Fahrenheit and Celsius. So this is the property, the display name that we just created by extending our temperature measurement enumerated type. And this is the property that we can actually use to display, well, whatever we want on the interface, on the UI. So that's the whole point of creating this uh, property. All right, hope you like it. If you do, then uh, go ahead and check out my courses uh, on Udemy. That will be really, really helpful. Uh, I'm sure that you are going to find some of the courses uh, that will that will help you, um, data structure algorithms, map kit, JSON parsing, augmented reality, and way more. So thank you very much for supporting and hope you enjoy this video.